Yes, all right. <laughs> Everybody, hold on. It's gonna look oh, weird. God. Wait, Just where, where are you? Up, no. Now, now you're, yeah, here you go. There, because I get my head cut off. <laughs> All right, Melissa, come in a little bit more. Just think of this as a big TV. Oh, God. <laughs> row, Everybody row, row. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm jumping. Okay. Oh, my God. I thought it was Frank. <laughs> All right. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I am Nelson, and I'm here with a bigger group of friends. Please say your names. <laughs> Darlene. Benzita. Melissa. And today is Saturday. I did not get to uh, film Friday at Carl Smith, but today's Saturday. As you can see, we're grouping it up and we're gonna have a blast in there. Especially tonight, we're doing the silent auction. So that's also gonna be a great, I'm gonna try to film that. I'm not promising that, but that should be fun to show you guys. So without further ado, we're gonna go inside and look at some games. Let's yeah. Go. yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Oh, All right, folks, so we are here where the vendors are. Like I promised, I was going to start with the vendors. And today's going to be pretty cool because it's going to be Melissa and I, two YouTubers, filming at the same time. There she is over there. <laughs> so let's start here in this one loop. Who is this? Do you know the name of this one? Oh, yes. Nice. So these all come from Taiwan? Directly yes. from Nice. These are all Pathio Petals, which is oh your favorite. My absolute. Oh my goodness. How beautiful that yellow path. It's so pretty. What is your name? Oh, it's a, oh, it's a species. Armeniasum. Very nice. Is it Armeniasum or Armeniacum? Armeniacum. Oh, so it's really almost like a tail. Fanaticum. Mm -hmm. Fanaticum. You're the Fanaticum. The Fanaticum? <laughs> Look at Darlene. this one. This is, has Darlene's name on it. <laughs> We're your Rara -ra team. Bye, Darlene. Bye, Bye Darlene. Darlene. <laughs> Somehow you won't be here when I break this out. But when you look at your bank account, <laughs> that's going to be the painful part. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my God. This is gorgeous. Oh, I love these with them. Aren't they beautiful? With the curlies, yeah. They're it's really, really in the morning. Cool. I want to see if there's a main show. Is that the name of your company? Main show? Yes, okay. yes. I would like, like to show where they come from. And while he is here with mini Papio Petalums, yeah. he is a phenomenal Phalaenopsis grower. Really? Yeah. Oh, he had that uh, secret weapon in his pocket. <laughs> I really love that files. Look at this, how gorgeous. I mean, These are the same? Oh, no, no, they're not. No, they're not. That's really, really beautiful. Paps do very well with me. Between the two? I don't know yet for me. Okay. Try one. Try one out. And now here you guys will see. <laughs> don't move! <laughs> okay, Equahenera USA plants of the world. Now you can move. <laughs> Hello. 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 Oh my god, look at the red on that. The cranberry. Why are you hugging it? Is that the way you claim your orchids? <laughs> Yeah. Just don't destroy those flowers. <laughs> I'm not going to destroy them. I, I'm very aware. You know when of, you hug them, they're yours. That's how you bond. You can't put but, it back down. Have you ever seen a red dendron no, like that? No, it's really, it's really, really red. It's gorgeous. Okay, well. It really is beautiful, Terry. That's a very strong red. I know. Are you going to take it? Of course. Oh, okay. Because if she says no, you know what's going to happen. Terry, you need it. Why do you think I'm hugging well, it? Because Look, guys, more purple flowers. <laughs> Listen, that's all you video. Oh, no, purple I, that's all I video, same as purple flowers. <laughs> Actually, they do look very pretty like this all together. Like all those tones together. You guys brought more today, right? So guys, when you come down here, Eco Genera is literally like two blocks, maybe three from Pearl Smith. So you could actually hop on over to their nurseries if you're visiting Carl Smith and check them out. They have amazing, amazing stuff. This is just skimming the tip of the iceberg here. Gongora Pardina. So Equahenera always has these super cool, exotic, 
hard to find orchids and they bring a lot of them actually from Ecuador. They also specialize in aeroids. This is absolutely beautiful. Intermediate. <laughs> Can't get it with the lighting, it's not. <gasps> Look how cute! <laughs> It's like a cerulea blue, or what we call orchid blue. I, isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness. This is so pretty. That is beautiful. You can't leave that there, can you? Uh, you can't leave it where? You can't leave it there, so it has to go home. Are you going to test That's it out? <laughs> <laughs> That's a frag. Oh, oh, boy. Is it a frag I or? definitely don't have any of those. Yeah, yep. Yeah. I think, yeah. It's a frag? Mm hmm. Oh, sorry. Spilling the little. Yes, it is. I want to try with frags. I think I could. They're they're kind of similar to uh, cymbidiums, the way you water them and stuff. And oh, says Nelson. Oh. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Are you going to start I'm making horrible. me shop like I do to Terry? <laughs> I'm horrible. I'm is this my I karma I'm worse. paying? I might be worse than Terry. <laughs> And here are the cats. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Look at these little babies. Let's see what this is. Is this yet? Oh my god, I wish. This looks really cool. This is a tiny, tiny Wilbur Chang. You know I'm not gonna. With one hand, I can't. <laughs> Thank you, Vanna. There you go, sir. I want to see this. This is like a Wilbur is, Chang, right? You, oh my God, it but does look like it. It looks like it, but it's not. What are you, oh, that's right. Their tags are... Bubble film, low BI. Low I have, BI. I have this. Yeah. This is very different, though. I don't know. I think, I think they, the they, one, they, right? they, 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 some of them just differ slightly, right? Give me that Terry. Oh, that is so cute. That little cluster is adorable. How pretty that is. Look at this fuchsia and orange. Oh, 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 oh this is really nice. That's really pretty. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it is. Yeah. I've always loved these. They look like daisies. Is that a no and I'm not moving. It's, uh, it's pretty much a no-brainer. No yeah, it's. Uh, can you it's find one that's already um, <laughs> spiking with blooms, with uh, buttons? Let me get the name. Because if you can get it with uh, just a spike and uh, budding, it'll last a little longer. And here's some beautiful catacetums, none in bloom, but my god, look at the health on these things. Yeah, those are healthy. Mm -hmm. And look, they're all spiking. They're all spiking. I wonder what flowers is. What is the flower of this catacetum? This catacetum expands on yellow. Oh, it's amarillo. Uh huh. Ooh, it's yellow. Mm. You know me, cranberry and yellow. <laughs> Oh, that is beautiful. Qué linda está. ¿A cuánto salen estos? En 30. These are 30 bucks, you guys. This does not break the bank <laughs> at all. They're beautiful, really pretty. I love to see leaves on catacetums is healthy. Those are like this one, some of them. Isn't it gorgeous, that flower? I'm like, cranberry and yellow. I'm like, cranberry and yellow. They're really pretty. Oh, I think I have this one. No, it's not the same one. Esto, ¿Qué cosa es esto? ¿Un Stanhopia? No. Oh, I was saying it looks like a Stanhopia, but not really. So I was, so it's a cross. Oh. Very oh nice. wow it looks like the organ of a oh, body that looks like, <laughs> like a, a heart or something you know, you know, not, not the, the conch the conch yeah like oh conch. like the yes like yes. the inside of a conch you're right mm -hmm. i love what yeah. exactly like it it's i'm mesmerized with these guys <laughs> wow. so that's the, that's one of the crosses yeah 
that is so cool. Sanghopias are so like different from the yeah, entire they're, orchid world. They're very uh, maybe animalistic or I don't oh, know. Look at this. Look at this spike. Hmm. What is this? I'm so intrigued today <laughs> by all these. It's a gongora fulva. Uh, this one shoots multiple. Yeah, you can see it's got. ¿Cómo es la flor de esta? Si la tiene. That one. Yo no tengo ni una gongora. These are really healthy. Too. It has like eight little. And I know these will do really well in my workroom. Yeah. Not that I have space, but. Oh wow, so it's a long spike with a lot of flowers. Yeah, ¿cuánto sale esa? Esa es en 20. En 20? Mm -hmm. You run away, right? I can't leave you here, mama. <laughs> She's beautiful. This will be my first uh, gongora because I got a Sanghopia and I thought it was a gongora. I always mix, mix the two and then somebody told me, look, Sanghopias have multiple leaves, Gongoras have one leaf on each, on each suitable. So that's how I kind of figure it out. Okay, it's a pomela side, means I keep filming. Okay. Precioso. But it's beautiful. Beautiful leaves. No, no, but I'm just saying. And look at this, guys. Yeah. Tipo me Tiene dos lights. Oh, no es la amarilla. No es la amarilla. Este es macrogloso, que es verde. I mean, I like green, pero la amarilla me gustó más. Sí. Estaba buscando una que tuviera más. Con dos, pero. Sí, estaba buscando una con dos, pero no encontré. Esta tiene dos. Esta tiene dos. Perfecto. Y tiene un y tiene un stock muy lindo. Lo vamos a llevar ese. I am filming and shopping, multitasking at its best. This is what I love about this place. They have such unique, unique, incredible flowers that you don't really see often. And then they do specialize in these uh, beautiful aeroids. I'm going to try to skip on over to their uh, nursery today. I already told her I wanted to go by and give you guys a view of Equajenera because it is very impressive. Look at this. What a gorgeous, gorgeous plant. All right, guys, we've been in Equajenera long enough. <laughs> I can stay here all day. <laughs> stay facing the other way. I'm showing your shirt. <laughs> and I don't have to say much. Just look at the shirt and you know where we're at. Supply heaven, how you doing? Okay, <laughs> okay. Top of the morning. And look, they're bringing busloads. Did you see? I got to show you guys this. So you see, this is no joke, okay? They bring tour buses loaded with people. And look, they're all coming with their little carts, and they're on a mission. <laughs> so anyways, this is Opie's supplies. As you guys have seen before, I have shown you things that I use. Best, best moss in the world. If you guys are going to re-establish your orchids, uh, with new moss, please start with this. This is really, really good. And this is also very good. You can, if you don't want to buy a brick like this, then you can save space. This turns into this when you wet it. So this is the same as this when you wet it and you pay 15 for this, 25 for that. So it's whatever you want to spend, it's up to you. Now in this area here is where he has all his chemicals and his fertilizers. Ben Rots. You guys have asked me, what do I use for fungicide? This is my go-to. It's highly, highly toxic. You do have to gear up when you spray this, but I guarantee you, you spray it, use it on your plants, and you're going to see an instant result. Within a week, you see the results. These are 5 and 20 is another fungicide, which is a preventative. It's not as strong as Ben Rot. So if you just want to keep your plants, you know, nice and healthy, you can use this maybe once a month. Preventative or theme, great insecticide, super strong, will destroy all your thrips. So, this is a thrip destroyer, <laughs> and I like to mix this and this together. And the third thing that I mix is Savine, which you can get that at Home Depot or Lowe's, and it covers all the bugs, insect insectoids, and arachnoids. Super Thrive, excellent, excellent, excellent additive to your feeding. Uh, you can add, I usually put about half a teaspoon to a gallon because it could be pretty strong. Some people put more, 
But these are re all real, real good uh, fertilizers and fungicides. And you have your mediums, wonderful mediums. Fertilizer, this is my go-to number one fertilizer, 2020. Hey, you're having too much fun and it's too early. Uh, I'm telling you my philosophy why I had to. Oh, yeah, and she has philosophy for all up. her orchids. He's laughing with me, not at me. Right, with it's me. with you. That's what I always say. I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing with you. With me. <laughs> and then Terry looks at me. She goes, but I'm not laughing. No, I'm just kidding. Exactly. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> Ready? Ready as I Oh, babe. come around. These baskets here are wonderful. You know what? These are even deeper than the ones I got. It seems deeper, right? These, I got to tell you, dendrobiums. Really? I was thinking Love about that this. for I, my... I use this with uh, volcanic rock and charcoal. Yeah, I, mean, I crush it. Wow. I put it in here and I got to tell you, I did it to three dendrobiums already. And they yeah, look was better than the it. other ones that are, have been established already. So that was and a it good... Looks um, very organic. Very organic. It looks yeah. beautiful. It makes it gives you a nice presentation. And if you really look... You if you want the rusticness, yeah, yeah. Different rustic... All right, guys, so right next to Ophi's is Miranda's orchids. They come straight from Brazil. They bring a lot of beautiful um, orchids and catlias from Brazil. They are very well known for the cerulea crosses. That cross is beautiful. Look at this cross. So if you guys want to play... Um, experimental <laughs> orchid experimental it is fun sometimes to buy these seedlings that are crossed they'll show you the cross because no one really knows what it's going to look like so you'll be one of the first to actually um see that cross oh terry look how tiny this little little thing is mm, mama look at you you little tiny papa look at that flower Gorgeous. Oh wow, look at that. <laughs> this is their, one of their more popular ones. Look at that guys. This is the Miranda's Blue Berry. Very nice. These are so pretty. And it is kind of cool today, which I like it. It's not hot at all. <gasps> look at all these. Isn't that pretty? Should I say it? <laughs> no brainer? <laughs> no brainer. But Terry's brain has no more size. Terry's brain I has can't no more what? anymore. <laughs> what do you mean? You only have one bag. I know, right? You're not doing bad at all. I'm not doing bad at all. Yes, I heard all about it. Beautiful flowers. Absolutely. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's good. The plan the eye. <laughs> Can she handle full circle? That would do great on a mouth. Yeah, would. Mouth, right? Yeah. Yeah, all these are better. Oh, that's really, really pretty. That's like extremely honest. Yeah. That is wow, that's a great We also have the elbows. It's a little bit of Look at that one. Look at the green and the white. That is absolutely beautiful. You can put these on mounts, too. Let me see. And, and it's funny because the leaf itself is very it's small. But I figure what, these are probably about a couple of years before, right? To, to yeah, these are, these are a little bit bigger. These are, but then these also are bigger. No, pero, these are 50 and these are 45. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Can we just get them all? Oh, no. They do great crosses. That's really, really pretty. Yeah. I love the the petals. And now we're we're here at the auctioneer. <laughs> Go country orchids. <laughs> Slash auctioneer. Uh, Olaf Gross gave me a new name. What is it? Auctionator. Auctionator. <laughs> is that like auctioneer with Terminator? Yes, that's I got what he it. Did. <laughs> Is this a twinkle? Blue twinkle hybrid. Oh, nice. I'm getting, since I'm in my dendrobium stage, I don't want to touch the flowers. I just want to see. 
It's a great club. Yeah, it's a great club. Yeah, guys. I just Naples, though, too. How beautiful is that? Well, it's funny. I was, uh, I was sitting at the membership desk. I mean, all these weird, weird-looking flowers that I've never seen here at Smith. You get to see some very strange and beautiful, strangely beautiful flowers. Like this right here. How beautiful is that? And that's the name? Yeah. One of my favorite rat tail bubbles. Oh, that's what they're called. It's a bowl of film. I bet you it smells delicious. I love these, but uh, they don't do well with me, Terry. Mine died. I don't know. How's yours doing? Um, mine so far is holding on, but I'm starting to get a little bit of yellow, so I'm uh, like, oh, God. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's too cold or too hot. Oh, let me see the flowers. I'll point it towards me. Somewhere. You can relate. I'm not putting up your... Wow, that's so cool. Look at that. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Huh. Is it this oh, one? Oh, it's an yeah. Bilboa? Um, Bilboa. There okay, you so go. it's that one. Is that oh, same one? Oh, but this is huge. That's huge. So that's what they're supposed to it's look like. It's regular 150 <laughs> on sale for 95. Wow, that's good. It's a that's big, big, like. and those things take forever to grow. Yeah, oh, they do. I know. Right. Oh, here's some more. I love these cards because I get to see everything right and see their names as well. I had the, this and mine just died this past week. I bought, I bought these from him and I'm bringing it back. I had to take it out of where I had it. It did not like it. Look how this is cold. Oh, this is cold. I knew you guys were coming. I didn't know you were coming so early. All these Californian people can handle a little cool. <laughs> there you go. What is that? Yummy, yummy. Oh, that smells good. That's it? beautiful. Yeah, this is this is just the first bloom. About a year from now, well, four inch pot, it'll it'll have five inflorescences. Five. About wow. it's a grandchild of Sherry Baby. Yeah, but it doesn't get the spots and it grows twice as fast. Yeah, because Sherry Baby's. Yeah. It smells spots. really good. Doesn't that smell good? Yeah, that smells really good. <laughs> it smells like breakfast. Oh, sorry. Yeah. In the <laughs> afternoon, it gets a malty mint vanilla wow. flavor. Ooh. Ooh, which is really cool. Nice. Very cool. And these, um, what are these? Fifteen dollars. So guys, Fifteen dollars. look at this. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful Oncidium. Beautiful cross. Yeah. We have a friend who went to Alabama, or University of Alabama, and she started a nursery in Taiwan. And her whole purpose is to diff get different fragrances from using Sherry Baby's background. Oh, that's pretty cool. Like a yeah. perfume shop of orchids. Exactly. That is so cool. Like mixing the oils and creating. Yeah. That is so cool. I am really affixed on this. This is beautiful. Well, in the sun, it just glows, too. Oh, nice. It's electric. Really pretty. Guys, 15 bucks. It's not going to break the bank. Come over to Carl Smith. Now, if, do you ship? Yeah, we ship. Wow. Uh, do you have anything with your information so I can show it? Because usually it makes it easier for people in case they want to order anything from you. I always tell them to let them know that they saw it here and that way they can... One of my friends made a contact card for me. That's a cool card. Yeah, she's she's did this for me because she wanted to... Wow, that's a really nice card. Can I yeah. have that card? You sure can. Oh, there you go. This is beautiful. Very nice. All right, I'm going on my next one. Thank you, sir. Thank you. It was Always a pleasure. a pleasure. Yep. And I'll see you at the auction. Tonight. Oh, you will see me at the auction. I'm going to keep moving. I am ready. I have my game game already. Well, maybe you can get Frank to put one of those aeroids up on top out there. Oh, last time I won the Vici Eye. So yes, you did. I want to see what I get this time. Isn't I'm, I've been looking at the Twinkles for a while. Look at these, Terry. Look at these little cherry baby looking things. How tiny. That's another one of her creations. Is it? It's it's yeah. like really full it, of flowers. It, when the sun hits it, it smells like peach marmalade. <laughs> Terry. But it's gotta have the sun on it to smell. It does have a fragrance. Oh, it does. It does have a more nice vanilla fragrance. though. A very vanilla. Yeah. 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 Very so, nice. Yeah. But God, I've never seen a stock like this. Notice, a spike. Yeah, right? notice how much more compact it is than Sherry Baby. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Which I appreciate. Like that. I like when it, they're a little bit tighter. Yeah. It's like. Yeah. And that's. I mean, one is one has what probably about thirty. Yeah. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. <laughs> 
Who are guys in more patio pedaling and wherever there's paths, there's Darlene. <laughs> and there's Jason. <laughs> You're doing a cameo. A little bit. Oh, I noticed that. I already know it's getting filled it's pretty quick. I know. Hello. Guys, look, I was looking at these yesterday, these patio pedalums, and they're just stunning. That green and white is just so pretty. And what I noticed at this fair, it, you know, just the prices are very, very, the prices are fair at this fair. <laughs> I was trying not to use the same word twice, but let's just go with it. <laughs> so the prices are fair at the fair, and, um, Honestly, I don't think if you could, if you have self control, of course, not like me, do not follow my lead. I am warning you. <laughs> Try to practice self control. Be honest with yourself. <laughs> don't lie to yourself. You will not break the bank here because the prices here really aren't like, unless you're going for like the super suit, like these little tiny ones, these are super like exotic, very rare type of uh, patio pedaling. So, you know, you're going to pay a little bit more. But by the most part, everything is 30, 35, 20, 25. Look at this. This is a beauty. Let me see what this is. Very, very cute. Or as we say here in Miami, super cute. Let me show you his card. I need to take his card because I don't have one. <laughs> and Dave is a really good specialist. He's here every year and his patio pedalums are just absolutely stunning. Stunning, stunning. This is 150. I bought a Sandrine from uh, the Friends. There are more seedlings there. I just love, I love the shape of the leaves of Patio Pedalins. It almost reminds me of a traveling palm in a way. All right, now let's go to my next one. Okay, guys, here, this full booth right here is the Red Rooms. Now, this is their wall. They always do a wall of beautiful. <laughs> Does this look like Do you work here? I should. <laughs> this right? is just yes, Queen of Blue, blue Jay Orchids. Look, blue. You know, I wanted this so bad, and I was telling her yesterday, I go, that is an excellent, excellent orchid. And it smells delicious. Hi! Oh, you, my sweetheart. Okay. Are you, are you, orchid, orchid collector in the making. The making the <laughs> really? Which orchid are you going to buy? Oh, God. everybody's here, guys. You guys got to come here, and if you're not making it here this time around, please try to make plans to come next. The next one is in, I believe, April or May. It's their spring fair, and that's even crazier because everything is really in bloom. So, brethren, they're known for their beautiful, beautiful... Um, why is it that every time I want something, it's a sample? I've been after this to trap this forever. Forever. And they only have that one. Maybe I can get that one. <laughs> oh, no, they have this one. And it's in spite. So anyways, they're known. Focus, Nelson. Focus, focus, focus. I'm losing focus. I got to regain it. Look up. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, we'll talk soon. Do I get a rebate though? Yes, I do. They're actually selling this? Whoa. 300 bucks, guys. I have a wall that almost looks like this. I can't even fit anymore. Because every time I see one that I like, I buy it. It grows the same, right? It grows tight now. Beautiful. Brethren, oh, that is really pretty what he just got there. You're not hurting anybody? It's like I'm having whiplash. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Hi, Liz. <laughs> Hi, Liz. How are you? Guys, look at these orchids. Oh my god. This is absolutely beautiful. I want to show you guys this plant. How beautiful it is. 
Let me put it on the sun. I need light. <laughs> this is just an extraordinary flower. Wow. And what are you called? Hey, what's up, buddy? <laughs> BC Brethren's Calypso <laughs> Yellow Bird. Oh, it has Yellow Bird in it. Oh, that is gorgeous. I will never peg the Yellow Bird on this. Maybe the shape. Um, lots of different things. We have lots of um, brand new, some of our own breeding on the farm. How you doing? I'm doing good. How's Great everything? Great to see you. Great. Great this is you. Julia. This Hi, is nice meeting you. you. So I told her about the guacamole yeah. out of your house. Make my, uh, your you know, I was supposed to bring a box of avocados and I totally forgot. Uh, <laughs> All right, guys. Hi, Miss Sassy. Sassy Liz. <laughs> Good morning. And nice and kind, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, these are so, these are the Thailand, I think. Amazing Thailand. <laughs> That's because you're love, Liz. When people pick on you, it's because they love you. <laughs> Pretty. Everything that I'm looking at is pretty right now. I know, right you almost now. want to take I want of everything. this, I want that, that, I want this. Okay, take pictures <laughs> and we'll put it on the list. Oh. I just saw him on Wednesday. And these tiny little um, brasavalas I'm in love with. This almost looks like a cherry Abe, but in a Sharia. Right? Doesn't that look mm -hmm. almost like the sherry? I like I like the I like the stone wash effect <laughs> of the of the petals. Yeah. Very pretty. Very pretty. Now I wanna I wanna point something out. Okay, this is a Brasava Nidosa, right? Classic Brasava Nidosa. Now check this out. Check how tiny these are. So these are new crosses. Let me see if I can. I think I showed it in my um Sabu Sabulifolia. And it's a species from Jamaica. So it's not a cross. I don't know why I thought these were crosses. Another blue twinkle. These are very, very cool guys. Blue twinkles are now my new obsession. Haven't you noticed, Terry? I have a lot of new obsessions this weekend. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> everything we is a new obsession. With everything. <laughs> oh, this is, is this Tenebrosa? No. Yes. It is? Wow, that's pretty. That's deep in that color. Wow. That petal is so chocolatey. Mm -hmm. wow. And these these are seedlings, right? Seedlings, yeah. So they're about how far away from blooming? About three About the who? The burgers? Um, a couple of years. Oh, the next fragrance. Year, the year after. Oh, okay. Does it That's smell good or no? I, I, I saw a couple of them may flow next year, but probably two so years. Oh, one to two years. Yeah. Wow, look at that. I'm sorry, I just jumped in front of you, Phil. <laughs> I just saw that. Orchids, orchids take priority. So are these the same set back? Yes. Those are really beautiful. When I tag them, I'm, I'm going to mark That's the one that I was looking at so pretty. So that's a label. I'll mark the tag. All right, let's go to the next one. We almost got all... The vendors. We only got three, three four, four more. more. Now this, yes. these are our neighbors at the hotel room. Yes. What is the name of their company? You know, I didn't see their name. Uh, oh. Terry, all the Hupercias are forty-five dollars. Guys, these things are very expensive, and they have them at forty-five dollars. That's a steal. That's a steal. I paid hundred and fifty for mine, and it was like this. Really? Yes. <laughs> That's a steal. Wow. Look at this one. That is beautiful. Oh, I like that. I could use that as a ponytail. Oh God. <laughs> But it would be cool, but right? It would to be put it cool, right? But that is beautiful. Oh, look at this one. Look at this one. Look at this one. It has like these little tassels. <gasps> oh my goodness. And look at those mounts. <laughs> Hello, neighbors. Hello. <laughs> What's the name of your company? I was trying to see if I can... Oh, there it is. Right there. So guys, that is the name. If you see anything you like, you can reach out. They specialize in Hoyas, Hupertias, exotic, um, more, exo uh, more of the exotic plants. Look at this little tiny, tiny, tiny little thing, mama. Come here. Oh my God, what are you? $25. 
<laughs> and I want to take the tag out because I only have one hand. Here. How oh, beautiful is that? I really like this, Terry. Look. Oh, oh, look at that. It turns into that. That is so cute. And it's a Hoya, right? Ah, uh, no. It's a Hilaro Stemma. Oh, that is beautiful. Really, really nice. This, is, this whole table here. This looks like little mini frogs. I mean, uh, turtles. Turtles, yes. I love it. Little turtles. You know what that one is, right? That's the dishiria, the one that crawls oh, up the wood. Right. Yeah, that crawls up the wood. That's really pretty. Oh, look at this, how pretty. Look at this bulb of filling. Oh, that's unique. Look this is, that. this is uh, I like the way they put their, um, the moss, they pack them up like that, because that really keeps the plant well. Huh. What time is it, Terry? 10.21. Okay, we got time. They also sell flasks. I've been thinking about dabbling in the flask world to see if I could actually grow some seedlings at my place, but I want to set up my work area. Uh, sterilize certain things, but look at this. Wouldn't it be cool to buy one of these and then have all these grow on your trees or in a big basket? Look at this. I love these. I know. And they're don't we have this? No, we don't have this. No, no, I don't have this. These go in and out better. Yeah. No, it's the one that we bought. And um, this thing here, just I find it so it's intriguing. It's gorgeous. But this is not the one that you like. Not, that's not the maculada. No, no, I know. It's just that little plant is so intriguing. No, I know it's not the maculada. How intriguing is it? Very intriguing. <laughs> So intriguing. <laughs> Multi intriguing. <laughs> Multi dimensional intrigue. <laughs> what did you get? What is it? It was on my wish list. The Perry Bangkok. It's, it's, it's a mini vendor? It is. Look at what it's going to look it's like. It's a compact vendor. Let me see. Oh, I'm glad it has. And it's in box. Oh, I got this one. You do? The Perera. Yes, I yes, yes, yes. I was <laughs> right. so excited to find this. Bangkok the Sunset. So exciting. Yeah. From Congratulations. Yeah. These things bloom all the time. All the time. She was telling me. And said, lots well, of fragrance. Well, that's a no-brainer then. Exactly. Oh, <laughs> we're putting that on a t-shirt. There we yes. go. No-brainer. Yes. Orchid no shopping is a no-brainer. No all right. See, even the phone approves. Right? <laughs> right on time. So guys, we are now in none other than the master himself. He's over there, busy. Master, see how he turns around when you say that? <laughs> and we, his booth is Spring Water Orchids. And he always has. What do you have like super special if you have it left? Because I am I know you've been well, there's, selling uh, out. Well, there's one plan that, okay. oh, help this lady and then I can entertain you a little. Go right ahead. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll show them your beautiful Catlias. I'm glad you recognize this name. So, if you guys don't know who Tong is, Tong is a very well-rounded, knowledgeable master in orchid gr uh, growing. He has cultivated for many years. He's crossed. He's won awards. I have gotten many, many pieces from him in the past, and I got to tell you, they all do so well. And um, he was one of the first people actually that I shopped yesterday. Uh, no, actually Thursday when they were setting up. I just, I'm like, no, I'm not gonna wait till you set up. <laughs> I want these. So I will show you guys in the hall. I won't tell you what it is, but let's just say that he has a lot, a lot of great stuff this year that's just so unique. I love these, and he's got a lot of these. Yeah, how beautiful! Whatever, but the 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 main company got it before they can take your money. These are all this is for this guy. Oh my God! I love these like fluorescently colored. Did you see this, Melissa? Tell me something about that fluorescent avatar. I love it. It's spectacular. It's like it's like flames. Right. You're not gonna leave that there. Are you starting to become me? <laughs> <laughs> are you are you a, are you an orchid it. pusher? No. <laughs> it do, it does have 
says Nelson. It does? I, I see it there. Right there. It's you know, it's it is very tempting. It is very tempting. Maybe maybe I will. I might. I just might. Maybe don't. Look, this is <laughs> <laughs> this is the this is a, the sea breeze we were taught. This is the one that I, well I got a cross of this, but this is the one that he said that they had a bunch of at one point. And I know a viewer of mine was looking for one of these, but I think he wants the original. This is actually a cross. Let me see if I can show you guys. Because I ran against something like a rock. There we go. This this one. Yeah, this is a cross. This is the Hawaii. This is actually the one I have. I'm, I'm, it looks like porcelain. Uh, you need one. Glass. You need one of these. I need one of these. Yeah, you need, and they smell so good. Uh, okay. See, you I push on me, I push on I you. Need, <laughs> I need one of those. Yes. So if, if I Nelson take that, it, I then it. you take that. Let's you want, do it. You wanted to do that deal? Let's do it. <laughs> As we record each other. <laughs> okay. So let's do it. Okay, let's sold. It. Thank you. See, Tan is selling. He doesn't even know yet. <laughs> We're selling behind his back. I know. The man with the fun shirt. <laughs> these frags, I've yet to indulge in these type of orchids. I'm afraid of them. <laughs> the frags. You want me to narrate for you? Double double video? That would be cool. Hearing it too video. <laughs> like, a like a puppy? Yes. Then they'll actually learn rather than gorgeous. Oh my God. Listen, we all start somewhere, right? I think you're doing great. You're doing really good. Look, these, pa these uh, frags. I love because every time I look at them, it looks like I, I can't do it, but your video could show. It looks like they're doing this. Look, look at me. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do an impression of the flower now. It looks like they're going. I do like that one. They're bowing, they're bowing. Yeah, us. they're bowing. They're so cute. But I'm afraid of them. I, I, I wanna put them in my in my um greenhouse, but I was told that if I can grow catacetums, I can grow these. So uh, I think they're like distant cousins, somebody told me. But you know the man to ask is right behind us because he's uh Is that there you is. again? I that, know. That, she keeps following us. She keeps showing up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to help you out and keep you in check. Thank you. I appreciate you. <laughs> and are these related? Uh, yeah, that's these beautiful, the, uh, beautiful yellow paths. Oh, I saw this yesterday and I really wanted to take one. Look at this. A pal is a replacement from a light regular flower. Tell me if that's not beautiful. Let's say the lips of the player. Now this one don't have that is absolutely beautiful. I don't want to hurt it. And these are 25. You can put these on a mount and they will take off. I know it doesn't look much looking at it, but trust me, when I see these when I see these type of orchids, immediately I think mount. And that's when they just take off. Uh, the wonderful things about this group is uh, they, they all came from Central America. They are all sequential type of, 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 of bloomer as well. And jokingly, I usually, well, I always joke about this thing is the only thing that we can grow in Florida is, is the ugly frog. This is an ugly frog? Yes. Oh, I'd like to see a pretty frog. Oh, I'll show you. I'll show you. Because the, the reason I say that, because they all... Background. They have a long... Background opinion. Longifolium background before you can grow them. So they, they sort of like this. Like they're, they're very similar. So is it way. a distant cousin of the path? Or nothing to do with uh, that's the same uh, group but same a diff group. different genera oh. so in this group we, we got uh, four things we got the uh, 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 me petalum mm -hmm. you got the Paphio petalum mm -hmm. and you got the Cipri uh, petalum from uh, they call it Jack and the Puppet up in the north okay. nice. so there's three no and then one, the one more they just recently discovered is a uh, uh, Solony petalum um, we we'll say not very well described and not too many where was the it book discovered? They, they all, the, the sequential one, uh, yeah, all come are, are all in Central America. Oh, the, okay. the, the Pathfield Parallel always came from Southeast Asia. Okay? And that's one single one. Oh, lucky I have a flower. Hello! Hello to you! <laughs> I haven't seen you in a while. I know! <laughs> I forget to show you that. Oh, Maximian. Yeah, that's Maximian. Uh, Max, this is Max, oh, that Maxipidium. Is very cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, years ago, this is a frag. Oh, really? It came from Mexico. And the flower looked exactly like a frag. 
Oh, yeah. wow. And even I still disagree with the new name. I still think this Darlene, should be on the this one? You, you look oh, like... Oh, I already you, own that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah this... Uh, <laughs> you look like you're ready to snatch that. It's beautiful. No, it's beautiful. That is so cool. But it doesn't breed with other frags, right? Yes, it does. It does breed with other frags, yes. I want to show you the picture. I want to show you how yeah, cool it is. Yeah, I want to see what it looks like as, as a photo. Look at this. That's uh, Didi Ray from Madagascar or... They, uh, I had my mind did really, really well, Tom. And on the third year, all of yeah, a sudden they, it melted away. I don't yeah, know they what have happened. A, they have a... Expiration date? Yeah, <laughs> like some death syndrome kind of thing. Oh, I do have already a picture. That's a pretty flower. <laughs> That's a real pretty flower. A lot of peristeria. Oh, here's my little alien flower. Guys, if you live in Miami, uh, good luck with this one. Because Laz, mine, and Blanca there you go. melted away. You found it? You're going to laugh at this stuff, oh, man. Oh, wow, look at that. That is so cool. Next video. <laughs> it, it looks like it would be fragrant. Maybe because I'm thinking of the Joyce. Um, He's a guy with all the, the, the flower in this big, dude. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah? Thank you. It's <laughs> adorable. <laughs> as long as they don't take this one. That's a big this is beautiful. No, seriously, I haven't seen it. All right. I'm, I'm like taking this one. This. Because people are going crazy. And I'm just filming here and I'm not taking anything. He said he's going to keep five. I'm gonna hide it back here. <laughs> oh my god, I'm out of control. All right, guys. Let's go to the next booth. See, that, that's why I actually, actually encourage them to. Sorry. I put that Catlia in the back. I'm going to take it, but uh, I'm still filming. It's right back there. Okay, in the woods? In the woods. Okay. <laughs> back in the woods okay. in the forest. Perfect. Perfect. Excuse me, you it. have a Catlia that you need to take. Well, who are you trying to... I'm not leaving. I'm right here. Well, somebody's going to take it because I already saw somebody grab it and put it back. So, sea breeze. I don't think she needs that in her collection. <laughs> the deal was that I would get the purple one and she would get the sea breeze. But I got the purple one and I see her leaving, so... She you broke. She broke that series. contract pretty quick. I mean, Frank C. <laughs> so that's James James Rose, guys. And now, this one. I spoke to them yesterday. This gentleman here. He draws. Well, not draw. He illustrates and he watercolors like the Audubon um, illustrations. And Teresito is the one that brought me to his booth. And he's actually right now. Uh, creating a piece, a bubble film. So I spoke to him, I asked him if he was okay with me filming. He's super excited about it. First, let me show you what he has here. All these are created by him. Look at the hand that this man has. I mean, he is absolutely incredible. This is absolutely beautiful. And I was telling Terry that I would love to own one of his pieces. He had one, an original, because these are prints. Yeah. These are the originals. Look at this. Oh. And here's the name. Prices, the names. Look at this, Terry. I know. Isn't this that gorgeous? Is gorgeous. <laughs> That's a tiger. It looks like a tiger. We'll say it in the back. No, Cat Leia, Lacey, Michelle, there we go. and Mathern. <laughs> oh, there's that frag that I like. That's beautiful. I wanted to buy the plant, but I can't buy the plant. They don't have the plant. Hey, this one never dies. This one never dies. <laughs> it really is. Look at this guy. I'm just going to skim through it so you guys can see how gorgeous his work is. It feels like you can just grab the flower out of the paper. Oh, Sinokis. Smells like banana, right? So, let's turn to the artist himself. How you doing, sir? Hi, how are you? Pretty good. Now, what's your name again? I'm sorry. I, I'm Aaron. Aaron. Yes. And Aaron, tell us if you don't mind a little bit about your work and how you got started and why why orchids. Well, the orchids are fairly new for me. I've just been doing orchids. I've done a few orchids before, but it's been a big focus for the past year, roughly. Um, but I've painted all kinds of plants. I've been doing botanical art pretty much like full time for seven or eight years. Um, but I've been painting, doing watercolor, and 
natural art for my whole life, like since I was a kid, it's something I was interested in, and well, I'm lucky enough to be able to do it now. You're really, really, from one artist to another, you're a hell of an artist. Thank you. You're very talented. Thank you. I mean, the detail, the shading, the lighting, the juxtaposition of dark and light, you're just excellent, excellent, Thank you. excellent. Thank you. Really beautiful, and, th and, you're, and you're using this as your reference, yeah. correct? Yeah, got a beautiful bubble file in here. That's gorgeous. That's a Roth, Rothschildy Adam. Yes. It's always good to have live reference whenever I can. This but is really good. I'm looking actually at an, on film the fl yeah. the actual flower and the one on paper, and the one on paper and the one it's starting to look almost identical. <laughs> it's so crazy. Extra. This um, is really beautiful. <laughs> Yes, you can actually put it there. How long does it take you to do like well, this? I started this uh, yesterday morning, 10 a.m. or whenever I, you know. I remember you borrowed know. this from the uh, in there and. I remember so. when you started this yesterday, I was speaking to you briefly, and I honestly thought, oh, well, maybe he won't have it by tomorrow, because I really wanted to capture you yeah. working on that. I sketched it out, and I've been working on it, but, you know, on and off, not... I'm able to concentrate at the show. There's, this is amazing. I can sit there for hours and look at, at, at the detail of your work. Now, do you guys ship? Yes. You ship out, yeah, and then you, uh, let me let me show this, so this way it makes it easier for my viewers to contact you in case they want one of these pieces. And then this is his actual. Based in Southwest Florida. You're in Southwest Florida. Southwest Florida. So you are Floridian. Yes. <laughs> Grow a lot of stuff at home in my backyard. Love just love plants. I get to be around plants. Oh man! And, and having this talent, yeah. I could just imagine when you look out there, you're like inspired. Yes. Constantly. And I get to go to shows and buy plants. So I can paint them. And so. well, you're doing something I haven't. I go to a lot of shows yeah. and I haven't seen. I've seen a lot of artists, but I haven't seen anyone do Audubon type of work. This is like superior work when it comes to art. I, I appreciate that. Like, did you actually do? Everything that's on there, or those are those are all your illustrations. Yeah, everything here is my just everything in this booth is, starts just like this. Whether it's something we printed on a sticker or the prints, or like those large prints, or a bunch of paintings like this condensed. And uh, I love it. It's yeah. just it, it truly. I have Audubon books, and it's like I'm looking at them right now. Yep. Have you thought about doing a book? Printed uh, book? I did. Uh, I was hired to illustrate a book last year. Um, that was just you know somebody else's project, but I'd like to do a book of my own. Uh, I think it would do very concepts well. Concepts and stuff, but yeah, I've, I've been published on a few things, but yeah, I'd, I'd like to do. You like, should consider uh, reaching out to a publisher called Tashin. Yeah, they are they dedicate to artistic books and and you're like right up that that platform. That'd be fun. All right, buddy. Thank, Thank you, you so much. It's been a pleasure talking to you. And Appreciate it. Keep on doing what you do. It's really good. Thank you. <laughs> Have a good one. You too. Monstera Deliciosa. Like, he's got so many that I could hang in my house because it reflects what I have in the ba in my backyard. Like, I have this one. I have the same exact Mackenzie. Hello, how are you? You're back. <laughs> back again. <laughs> so guys, sorry, I had a phone call from Julian and it cut off, but I was already finishing that booth. It was perfect timing because this is our last vendor booth, which is the Florida Orchid House. These are one of my top, top favorite people. Not just because I have great orchids, it's just they're such good people. I love their energy. I love it, love it, love it. They're wonderful. They the book of knowledge they have incredible incredible selections of orchids it's 250 now here this is like i call this like the the orchid boutique like if you go to rodeo drive this would be the orchids of rodeo drive like you would be buying really really good quality specimens of this size i mean that is just gorgeous How are you? I'm doing great. Even better now that I'm at your booth. Uh, How's everything? Always great seeing you. This has been awesome. Thank you so much. Awesome. I, I keep saying that you guys are the Rodeo Drive of, of orchids. Oh, <laughs> You're a boutique. You so 
my god beautiful beautiful stuff look at this i've been eyeing this for three days now and look at these um Rican stylus these are gigantic right let me see this is the red oh my god look at the size of these puppies <laughs> what what are you looking at terry oh is it a no-brainer let me see it's got three spikes uh i wouldn't take that one it's a no-brainer no i wouldn't take it I, i'm not i don't like it that much i know you don't like it <laughs> <laughs> But you Leave gonna it look, there. you gonna love it if I don't buy it. <laughs> no, it's beautiful. I would definitely get that. And it has three spikes. <laughs> Is that the same as mine? No. It's, yeah. it's same parents. We're twinsies. <laughs> yes. Same parents. Same parents? Mm -hmm. Wow. Look, <laughs> are you lying? <laughs> I'm walking away from the two of you. You're conspiring against me. <laughs> now, these Sinokis, which I love, she decided she was building this when we got here and i told her definitely do a sinoki's tower put them all she was placing them all i like got and then look what she has up here how are you are you all out of these no i just have a refill oh i was gonna say wow you sold everything because you had a lot yes when I... we were sold out yesterday we got a refill last night and so now everything is ready you guys can prep them this is the banana bread flour it smells so good it smells like pure banana thank you so much and this is a sinoki's oh she's gonna kill me i'm putting her bags on here Uh, it's not wanting to focus. I'm sorry, oh, guys. Yeah. I tried. The green one? Yes. Now let's go inside and see what they got. And this is her hubby. He's a super nice guy. He's always happy. Always has a smile. <laughs> I asked him, are you ever upset? <laughs> and then he says no with a smile. And I'm like, great. <laughs> I guess you're never upset. <laughs> These Oncidians are just to die for, guys. Look at the size of these beautiful, beautiful flowers. Just breathtaking. Oh my God, look at these patio petalums. <laughs> what is she doing to me? She even brought more stuff today. See, the great thing about vendors down here, since they're local, they run out and guess what? You don't miss out because they bring back more. Like all this is new. She didn't have this here. Look at what a gorgeous, gorgeous guy. Oh, I'm over, over the moon with all these flowers. Now, Papio Petalums, guys, they do always run pretty high up. It's one of the most exotics in the orchid world. And some of the crosses are just ridiculously gorgeous. And so. The rarer they are, the higher the price, of course. And the size also plays a big part of it. And as you can see, these are really big. Let me just take a look at this beautiful little tiny baby. Oh, that is so pretty. And the name of this is right... And the whole plant is actually pretty cute. Very tropical looking. When I see these little thin leaves, I get a little bit worried because I am from South Miami. I can't get any more south unless I go to the Keys. And it's really hot and really humid. So certain flowers, certain plants with thin leaves don't seem to be very happy in the heat. Here's that same slipper that I saw. Ooh, that little boy has lungs. <laughs> Oh, look at that. See, I kid you not. I was not lying when I told you this is a Rodeo Drive of orchids. Look at this beauty. I'm trying to see it. Very, very pretty. The cold is... It's been, it's been pretty chilly here, guys, on and off. So I have noticed that between the heavy winds that we had yesterday, and the cold, I've noticed some of the flowers are suffering slightly. 
but overall they're holding on really really well considering the wind was pretty bad but today is good it's nice and cool I have to pull this over. Check this out. Even the leaf, if it's not blooming, even the leaf is gorgeous. What a beautiful patio petalum. They have several of these. And these are always a showstopper at all these fairs. Usually I see Tanya with these, but how did I pass you by? How did I pass you by, you beautiful, gorgeous thing? And this is, let me see, I think I'm getting the right one. I think these are called Hilo something. Hold on. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Hilo Ablaze, Hilo Gold. Absolutely stunning. Really inside the labellum of this. So cool to look deep in, the, in there. Oh my God, smell that. Hi, how are you? All right, guys. So I think this is going to end today's journey with the vendor. I still have a lot more to record. So here I'm going to show you an overall of the vendors, the booth. And by the way, Frank Smith actually built these uh, stations for all the vendors. I think this was a genius idea. And he poured all... Well, he didn't personally pour <laughs> They're all giddy. They, look at them. I'm empty-handed. Why am I empty-handed? <laughs> yeah, this this is really happening right now. <laughs> oh my God. We haven't even had a drink. You need coffee so you can shop more. We need coffee. There's there's our there's our there's our, our, our third girl the, from the from the girl group. <laughs> there's the other girl. She should she's, have been over she's, here. To she's do still this shopping. Thing. She has We're bought so many. <laughs> All right, guys. So, oh, let's just take a moment to look at this gorgeous, gorgeous tree. Is this this is a banyan tree, right? Or a black olive? They call it? it looks like a black olive. Yeah, I think. It's, I don't think I've ever seen them this big. I don't think I have, but it looks like a black olive. I'm not really. Good. Absolutely beautiful. It's gorgeous. Not only is that gorgeous, but I usually eat in there. When I get food, I go in there the to bench. see. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Drive by orchid. Okay, you know, which you see, I told you we should have brought the We should have. Oh, oh, well. I have you want to go get it? Oh, no, you left it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. So I'm going to close this channel. I did all the vendors. Today was vendor day. So let's stand right here. We're going to turn this around. Our third girl is gone. All right, guys, that is the end of our episode. Today, it wraps up the vendors. We're going to have a lot more. We have the auction tonight, and I might do a little tour around the nurseries at Crawl Smith. We haven't done that yet, which Melissa hasn't even done that. She's dry. She's like, keeps My knees looking are at weak. My she's, knees are weak. Well, you saw them dancing. <laughs> You're doing your orchid dance. <laughs> so anyways, guys, I hope you liked this episode. Thank you for coming to this journey with me. I hope you liked it. If you haven't seen the showroom in the back, the brand new showroom, please do so. It is spectacular. You'll see a lot of beautiful orchids, things I haven't seen ever, crosses. They outdid themselves this time. And the only way is up from here. Because yeah. now when everything starts establishing in there, it's going to be a whole jungle of beautiful orchids. So anyways, until next time, I am Nelson. Alessa. I have to teach you. Hold on a second. Let's do it again. Okay, we go in order. Okay. We go in order. Okay, my name is Nelson. I'm Melissa. And I'm Teresita. You've been watching Nature Now. And remember to always, always... Keep, keep it green! green. <laughs> See you next time. Yay!